What's up, Peak Timers? We're about halfway through the model year for 2020 Hot Wheels releases, and I thought I'd do a top 10 of the best new for 2020 castings released so far. So let's start it off at number 10. Number 10 is the Porsche 944 Turbo, originally released in this red color. Then we did get a gold release of it, but I like this red variation really nice. I think it's a lot better. Nice chrome wheels on it, good proportions on the back of it and on the front. Maybe we could have used a little bit more detail on the front, but the headlights are down, so I guess there's not a lot that they could put, but we could see that little Porsche logo right there. But the Porsche 944 Turbo, fantastic looking casting, great release at number 10 and to number nine, Erkenstein Rod. Super fun new casting. Just a very aggressive looking car. You can see it right there, that big engine right there, these grills. If we look at the front, look at how like mean looking it is. I think it's just super fun. I love it. And then we've got the cool roll bars all the way down the back. And then we've got this little steps and stuff right here and like little fins on the side of it. Just an all around cool looking casting. Erkenstein Rod at number 10. Number eight. Fantasy casting RV there yet, RV there yet. A very fun looking cool casting. This has got the little car on the front with the little camper, RV camper on the back of it right here. You can see the little spare tire right there, wheel and all that. But wow, just a, a, just a fun casting. I think it's just a very different release for Hot Wheels to come out with. And if we actually look at it closely, this is an imitation wheel right here. That's not actually a real we rolling wheel right there. So if we put it down right there, you can see that the back wheel and the front wheel are the only ones that roll. So the middle one don't actually roll. You can see it from the bottom there a little bit better, but such a cool casting. I really like it. I think it's fun. So there we go. So that's number eight. Number seven, Volvo 850 Estate Wagon. Uh, I love this car. I mean, it's a Volvo. I know it's probably not something that I would be excited for, but I think they did a really good job on it. I think it looks cool. Just the paint job on it looks really cool. The gray wheels on there, doesn't that look Awesome, I love it. The gray wheels just match it perfectly, but Volvo 850 Estate, we have seen a recolor of it, but I like the white the best out of all of those. Number six, Honda Prelude in this gray color, and this one's just very proportionate. I just think they did a fantastic job on it. it totally looks realistic. Very nice detail from the back of it, the Honda logo, the license plate right there. These wheels match it perfectly, I like those. Even the red interior looks cool. And then also, if we look at the front, I originally thought these were tampos, but they're actually like the plastic lights built into it. So very good detail on this one. You don't really see that too often on Hot Wheels cars where they give you those plastic headlights rather than just tampo work. So Honda Prelude, very, very cool. Number six, number five, GMC Cyclone pickup truck in black with these wheels. I just think it looks so cool because these wheels, I think suit this truck perfectly. They make it look sporty. They make it look really good. I mean, I can't think of any other better wheels that Hot Wheels has to put onto a truck like this, but just a fun little 90s pickup truck. Great detail, even on the back, you can see it's got the little Cyclone logo right there, GMC right there. But I don't know, I was just a big fan of this uh, little pickup truck growing up and I was really excited to see it come to Hot Wheels. And I think they did a great job on it. So that's our number five casting for top releases so far this year. Number four, Jeep Gladiator. Such a cool looking Jeep. And I love how they did this with the little dirt bikes in the back of it. So that's a cool touch to it. And then also it's just not a stock Gladiator. It looks like it's been raised up. It's got bigger wheels and tires on it. Looks great, looks fantastic. I can't wait to see more releases of it. I think this would be cool in the Zamac edition. So maybe if we get a Zamac release of this one in the future, that would be awesome. I'd love to see that. All right, so there we go. Number three. Boom, Subaru Impreza 22B STI variation. Such a cool looking car. I love Subarus in blue with gold wheels. And of course, that's what they did. Release this originally in the blue with the gold wheels. They did recolor this one already, but I like this one. It looks just a lot better. Great tempo work on the back, the license plate, the little exhaust on there. Nice detail on the front. You can see that uh, right, right through there. It just looks so cool. I just love this one. There we go, Subaru in our number three spot. Number two. Corvette ZR1 convertible. I love Corvettes and I love the ZR1 and I loved how they released this one. Check out the back. Great tampa work for those lights in the back. It's got that big rear wing on there. It's got the nice like painted right here or no, this is actually a little bit see-through right there. So you can see that for that supercharger right there. Nice headlight tampa work, the little Corvette logo. 
great design in the front, that full body kit all around with the black wheels. Fantastic looking casting. Love it, love it, love it. I'd like to see a coupe variation come out this one, uh, maybe in the future from Hot Wheels, but until then, the Corvette ZR1 convertible looks great. Number one release. Can you guys type in the comments? What do you think it is? I'm sure you guys are all typing away. We know what it is. You guys know what it is. It is newly released Audi R8 Spider. Great looking casting. They just did this one perfectly. Love it in the white release. Love it in the gray wheels. Just check out the front. Look at that. Look at the detail that they've done for the headlights, the grill, the little Audi logo, the license plate. Looks great even on the back. Great detail for the tampa work and all of that. And it is a convertible variation. A lot of people were commenting saying that they wish this was not a convertible, but I don't know. I think it looks cool in a convertible. Maybe we'll get a coupe release in the future like the Zero One possibly. But until then, the Audi R8 Spider, number one release for 2020 so far. And of course this list could change because we do got some new cars coming up like the McLaren Speedtail that is coming out, the Kia Stinger that's coming out this year. We know those are coming out. So I bet you if I redid this list at the end of the year after all the releases are done, one of those cars or both of those cars would make it onto our list. But until then, that's my top 10 guys. Make sure you comment down below. Are there any cars that I missed that you would have liked to see in my top 10? Or do you agree with it? What's your favorite car in the top 10? I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.